How to make an online research instrument. What I did with mine is I used Google Forms. So before we are going to do an online research instrument, I am going to show you my research instrument using Google Forms. So this is the logos. This is my research title. This is the note left for the respondents, which are the UC students, and this is the confidentiality notice. So let's click on continue. Now, my research instrument has three parts. The first part is the profile of the respondents. Notice that there are uh, starred items and that means those are required so we cannot pro proceed unless we um, answer those required questions so let's do them let's start with the email address name at domain.com let's just enter any age select the gender select the profile I'm sorry, program enrolled and then the nature of employment, you can select more than one. I click on continue. Now we are at the part two. These are the preferred online services for my respondents. So you can tick them up. So four is for highly preferred, three is for preferred, two is for less preferred, one is not preferred. Okay. So you cannot miss one because it will not be validated. We have to answer all indicators. Click on continue. We're at the part three of my questionnaire, which is the problems encountered. One is for yes and zero is for no. Okay. And then click on submit now the answers will be submitted to the sheet so now we are going to um, create a research instrument for you so how do we do that we need to log in to the Google Forms first under your password and your username click on sign in Now click on the create new form and then add a title, your research title. Click OK and then add the form description. So what is your research about? Who are the intended respondents? So what are your um, confidentiality notice to people who might be answering it to add that in the description. Next is add your section header. These are actually the parts uh, and the sub parts. So part one. So what is this about? So you can add uh, text first. So say for example you want to do the age make it required then you want to add another one for uh, the gender perhaps so for validation we need to input one is for male and two is for female So let's stop at that one so we are going to add another section heater for part two this will be the variables and your indicators it is important that you know uh, how to use the grid section so the grid section 
uh, your question will be the variable so the main variable and the rows will be the indicators for that certain variable okay so we need to add indicator 1.1 up to um, indicator 1.4 And then for the columns, these will be your uh, levels. One is for not preferred, two is for less preferred, three is for preferred, and four is for very preferred. Make it required and then add uh, the description of your variable and then click done then we have to duplicate it for variable 2 or you can go back to the grid again and do the process but it will be a lot easier to just duplicate the other variable and just update the sections as they go so I am updating variable 2 now okay so I have everything correct I click on done and for variable 3 I will have to duplicate again okay so we now have these so we are going to add part 3 so section heater again what is part 3 all about and then click on done so normally for part 3 all we need to do is just um, take options so we can use the check boxes to so part 3 description and then we can add options as many as we want so for now I'll add 10 options and add other as well and then click on done so now this is um, the completed research instrument we can click on view live form to see how it will look like to the respondents so we have part one part two and then part three we can also send this form right away to our respondents if we have their email addresses so we can get the link and then share it to our google plus facebook and tweet it to twitter or the easiest way is just to write the email addresses of our respondents there and then send a very brief message and then click on send that's it